new storm We're building our snow fort. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Yeah, that is Faith Hunter and Jonathan Seekings from Minot uh, doing some smart things today, out having fun, making a snow fort. And you know what? This is like the perfect uh, snow for a snow fort, snowball fight. This is really the best kind of snow for that. So uh, thank you all for sending me that video. I want to show you some snow totals. Now, several of these are four or five hours old, so I would expect some of these to uh, change uh, possibly significantly, but uh, we have to get reports for them to change. I'm pulling this off the chat room that we have with the National Weather Service, but some substantial snow. I just saw that uh, KHND Radio and Harvey, you know, they, they simulcast a lot of the KX newscast. Uh, they had 12 and a half inches. That, that just came over just moments ago. But you can see all that snow right there. And uh, here's some snow totals that just came in like moments ago. Sykeston, Hertzfield, 15 and a half inches. There it is, Harvey at KHND, 12 and a half. New England, 8 inches. Stanley, 6. Uh, so, this, and we're not done. This is day two, and there's still Wednesday, or there's still Thursday and part of Friday uh, before the uh, winter storm morning is over. And we will continue with on again, off again snow. As a dry slot moves through, the snow stops. Next band comes in, snow starts. Uh, the, snor the stronger northwest winds have started to begin, but they really haven't fully kicked around to the northwest yet, and they will get stronger tomorrow. And uh, there is still the possibility of a few more inches by Friday, and we have a major polar blast on the way. So if you uh, have a chance to get out and clear the driveway, the walkways, uh, by Friday, it won't be pleasant Friday, but it's going to be even colder on Saturday and Sunday. And next week, we may not crack zero in quite a few areas. So a uh, big shot of cold air is on the way. Weather Service has extended the warning until uh, Friday morning at 6 o'clock. So, and it's been the pattern the past couple of days where it's been colder in the west than east of Highway 83. And that doesn't really happen a whole lot. And again, we're still looking at the possibility of a few more inches. And uh, it, again, it may not come all at once, but you may get a little bit here, a little bit there, adding up to a few more inches. The stronger northwest winds developing will further reduce visibility, and right now the visibility is awful out in the open country. Uh, I've been hearing from people just saying it is just a nightmare to try to drive out in the open country right now. And uh, again, maybe clear the snow before that shot of Arctic air gets here, because you definitely don't want to do it when it's below zero. So looking at the uh, precision cast, here we are 7 o'clock tonight. Big dry slot here. It's uh, just to the west of Bismarck by 7 o'clock. This is where the heavier bands of snow, I think, are going to set up at least for tonight. And as we go through the night, you can see how we have that dry slot. So for a lot of us, a lot of us the snow may be kind of in a lull for a while tonight while it continues in the west. And then by tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, we may have, you know, a few hours where it's just blowing snow. It may look like it's coming down out of the cloud because the snow is going to be blown around by those winds. Uh, but the computer models keep most of the snow off over in Minnesota by tomorrow morning. But watch this. See how this kind of retrogrades back? So I'm not, we're not done with the snow, but and we're certainly going to have more wind blowing it around, which is going to cause some uh, serious travel concerns. And then uh, by Friday morning at 7 o'clock, just little pockets of snow. Of snow. Friday is going to be the last day that we're really dealing with this storm. The after effects will be the cold air that will be coming in, uh, well, beginning Friday, but then on Saturday as well. So we will have patchy blowing snow continuing. And... Uh, Friday night, and by Friday night, some of the temperatures could fall below zero. And uh, as we look at uh, potential snow through Friday morning, looks like the heaviest snow is going to be off to the southeast, uh, traced to four over the next few days, and maybe around four or five uh, off to the uh, areas in blue right there. So low temperatures tonight should be uh, teens for, as an average, some spots a little cooler and then uh, colder and some spots slightly less cold. And then tomorrow it looks like teens, 20s to around 30 degrees or so. And here's a look at the Bismarck seven day. And yes, we are not done with this yet. And the temperatures are going to continue to drop a little bit. But look at next week. Look at those uh, daytime highs and nighttime lows. Joel, as a naughty, I mean, we must have been naughty or something because Mother Nature is just sending this blast of cold air just in time for Christmas. And it is on the way. And sometimes things miss us. I don't see that cold air missing us. Well, if it hasn't already, I'd say the ground might just freeze by the time those minuses move in. <laughs> You know, it's going to help the lakes. Well, now they've got so much snow on them, but uh, it'll help things, yeah. Well, things going to thicken up for sure. Thanks so much, Tom.